at length. A. Explain the following terms. 1. Vermi composting. In composting, the waste materials like vegetable and fruit peels, dry leaves, farm waste, dead plants and excreta of animals are converted into manure. The waste is dumped into pits which are then covered with soil. Microorganisms present in the soil convert this waste into compost that act as manure. Sometimes, composting is done by adding earthworms into the pits. This is called vermicomposting. 2. Balanced diet. A diet which consists of all the essential nutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and roughage and adequate proportion is called a balanced diet. A. Balanced diet provides all the nutrients in the right proportion. If a person does not eat a balanced diet, he may suffer from deficiency diseases or obesity. Eating a balanced also play a significant role in maintaining good health. 3. Hygiene. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, hygiene refers to conditions and practices that help to maintain health and prevent the spread of diseases. It is a broad term which includes personal, loan as well as community hygiene. Personal hygiene. Personal hygiene means maintaining personal cleanliness. For example, a daily bath keeps the skin clean and free from disease causing germs and brushing teeth twice a day keeps the mouth clean and odor free. 4. Uremia. If the kidneys fail to function properly, then toxic wastes get accumulated in the blood and cause a disease known as uremia or uremic poisoning. Its symptoms include fatigue, lethargy, loss of mental concentration, dry and flaky skin and loss of appetite. In more serious stages, a person may suffer from convulsions, heart failure, coma and death. In case of malfunctioning of kidneys, the patient needs to undergo periodic dialysis for the removal of wastes. Kidney transplant is another solution to this problem. 5. Degenerative diseases. Degenerative diseases are usually related to increasing age. Most common among them are arthritis, cataract and brain diseases like Alzheimer and Parkinson's. The two most common types of arthritis are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoarthritis. It is a degenerative disease caused because of the wear and tear of joints when they are overused. It occurs due to aging, injury or even heredity. It usually happens after middle age. Knees, hips, feet and spine are the most common parts affected by it. It leads to deep aching pain, stiffness and inability to move. It may also cause knobby enlargement of the ends of the bones especially on fingers and feet. Rheumatoid arthritis. It causes pain, stiffness and swelling of the joints of hands, wrists, elbows, shoulders, knees, ankles, feet, jaws and neck. Usually more than one joint is affected in this disease. The exact cause of this disease is not known but scientists believe that a combination of environmental and genetic factors may make a person more susceptible to it. Its onset is usually manifested between the age of 30 and 50. In severe cases, joints may get deformed. Also, the most effective treatment for arthritis is adequate rest, exercise and medicines to reduce inflammation. Differentiate between the following. 1. Proteins and minerals. Proteins. Proteins help in growth of our body and repair of worn out tissues. They also provide energy to the body. Minerals. Minerals help the body to function normally and remain healthy. They do not provide energy. 2. Personal hygiene and community hygiene. Personal hygiene involves personal cleanliness to protect ourselves from diseases. Involves single person. Community hygiene involves cleanliness of the surroundings as it affects the overall health of the people. Involves all the people of a community. 3. Communicable diseases and non-communicable diseases. Communicable diseases 
Diseases which can spread from one person to another are called communicable diseases or contagious diseases. Diseases spread through air, water, insects and sharing things like towels and comb. Non-communicable diseases. Diseases that are not infectious and are not caused by pathogens are called non-communicable diseases. Diseases are caused due to nutrient deficiency, aging, organ, malfunction and allergies. Answer in details. 1. List the factors that affects the health of a person. Anne's right pointing arrow there are certain factors which affect the maintenance of good health. They are as follows. Balanced diet. If a person does not eat a balanced diet, he may suffer from deficiency diseases or obesity. Personal hygiene. Personal hygiene involves habits like washing hands before and after eating food, brushing teeth twice daily, sleeping on clean bed sheets and wearing clean clothes. Community hygiene. A person cannot remain fit if he is clean, but his surroundings are dirty. Thus, it is very important to keep the surroundings clean as it affects the overall health of the people. Adequate exercise and rest. Adequate sleep helps us to stay mentally alert and physically active and regular. Exercise makes muscles and bones strong. Both are necessary to maintain good health. Protection from communicable diseases. Diseases like cold, influenza, malaria, chicken pox, and measles are caused by microorganisms. To prevent these diseases, we should follow the personal and community hygiene habits. 2. Why is it necessary to do physical exercise? Anne's right pointing arrow physical exercise is necessary to maintain good health. Regular exercise makes muscles and bones strong. It also improves the coordination between muscles and nerves. When we exercise, the heart pumps more blood into the arteries and the lungs expand fully to take in maximum oxygen. This means that blood circulation becomes faster and more oxygen goes to the cells for oxidation of food. In this process, more energy is produced by the food. The heart muscles and lungs also become stronger by doing more work. Exercise also helps in relieving tension and a person feels and looks better. Adequate rest is also very important for good health. 3. What are communicable diseases? How do they spread through food and water? Anne's right pointing arrow 3. Diseases which can spread from one person to another are called communicable diseases or contagious diseases. Diseases like typhoid, cholera, dysentery and other intestinal infections may spread through contaminated food and polluted water. Germs from the diseased person enter into water when he bathes, washes or defecates near the source of water. When this water gets mixed with drinking water and is consumed by a healthy person, it causes infection. Such diseases are called waterborne diseases. Germs from infections of the ear, nasal passage and throat commonly spread in swimming pools. Typhoid and stomach infections are caused by eating contaminated food. If cut, fruits, vegetables and other food items are not covered, they are frequented by flies. These flies carry germs from garbage and drop them on the exposed food, which becomes a source of infection. Bacteria multiply faster in warm conditions. Thus, milk and food get spoilt faster in summers, causing infections. To prevent the spread of diseases always store food and drinking water in clean and covered utensils. 4. Write down a few measures to avoid infections. Anne's right pointing arrow we can avoid infections by being a little careful and following the given steps. Drink filtered or boiled water. Keep food covered and do not eat exposed food items. Do not let water stagnate or heaps of garbage to accumulate near your house. Keep garbage bins covered. Do not use clothes, food items or other articles of a patient suffering from an infectious disease. Do not share your used towels, handkerchiefs, combs and drinking glasses with others. Wash your hands with soap before eating and after using the toilet. Cover your nose and mouth while sneezing and coughing. 
Drink pasteurized milk or boil it thoroughly. Before drinking, avoid any direct contact with patients suffering from contagious diseases like chicken pox and measles. 5. What are organ malfunction? Diseases. Explain any two of such diseases. Diseases which are caused due to malfunctioning of body organs are called metabolic diseases. Metabolic diseases may be hereditary and passed on to the individual by one of the parents or may develop later, slowly or suddenly. Two diseases are discussed below. Diabetes mellitus. In diabetes the body is neither able to use sugar nor store it in the liver. Therefore, the level of sugar in the blood rises and it is passed out in the urine. A person suffering from diabetes tends to lose weight, feels excessively thirsty and tired, and urinates frequently. Such people should avoid food rich in starch and sugars. Diabetes can occur at any age and can lead to malfunction of organs like kidneys and heart. Renal diseases. When the kidneys fail to function properly, toxic wastes like urea and uric acid, along with water and salts get accumulated in the blood and cause a disease known as uremia or uremic poisoning. Its symptoms include fatigue, lethargy, loss of mental concentration, dry and flaky skin, and loss of appetite. In more serious stages, a person may suffer from convulsions, heart failure, coma and death. In case of malfunctioning of kidneys, the patient needs to undergo periodic dialysis for the removal of wastes. Kidney transplant is another solution to this problem. 6. Write a note on prevention of communicable diseases. Anne's right pointing arrow we can prevent communicable diseases by being a little careful and following the given steps. Drink phi ltred or boiled water. Keep food covered and do not eat exposed food items. Do not let water stagnate or heaps of garbage to accumulate near your house. Keep garbage bins covered. Do not use clothes, food items or other articles of a patient suffering from an infectious disease. Do not share your used towels, handkerchiefs, combs and drinking glasses with others. Wash your hands with soap before eating and after using the toilet. Cover your nose and mouth while sneezing and coughing. Drink pasteurized milk or boil it thoroughly before drinking. Avoid any direct contact with patients suffering from contagious diseases like chicken pox and measles.